Okay, so we're going to start the first hands-on or lab session now. So this lab session is going to test our communications between our target board and our LoRa network. To do this, we're going to load into our target board a pre-compiled file uh, which has an AT command set. So we're just going to treat it literally as a modem to send information up to our LoRa network so that we can test all the connectivity of our LoRa network to make sure everything is working. So what we're going to do, so we're going to have a first play around with the LoRa technology. You're going to see in a few seconds uh, what a LoRa network consists of. And then we're going to program our discovery board to be a LoRa class AN node. And as I said, we're going to use it as a modem with AT commands at this point. So we're going to use it in its, one of its basic forms to transmit information across a network. So this is what we need for a LoRa network. So in front of you on your desk, you have your device, which is called a moat in LoRa terms. And this is our discovery board containing the STM32 microcontroller. This device is then going to talk to our gateway. The gateway is just a pipe or a conduit or channel which converts the RF signals from our device into something the network server can understand. So it's just literally there as a format changer from RF to a cabled structure. The network server, there's only one in the LoRa network, and this is controlling the whole of the network. So in equivalent, it is giving out uh, like IP addresses or uh, IDs to each of the device when they join, and it will control the routing of all the traffic from the device through to the application servers which are doing the control or the monitoring or analysis of all the devices that are connected to the network. Finally, the application servers. So you can have multiple application servers in a network. You don't just have to have one like our diagram is showing. And these can do different functions. So each application server can be configured to talk to a specific set of moats and they can analyze the data from different devices that are collected and you can view them and different customers can view different application servers depending on what your system needs to control. So what do we need here in our hands-on lab session? So we need our LoRa gateway. So we have got on our desk here at the front a blue Multitech multi-connect conduit which is being used as our gateway for our LoRa device. So this will provide the connectivity from our end devices into something we can then view on a laptop. So we have a laptop connected via Ethernet to our Multitech gateway. And this is just so we can see what is going on inside the gateway. This particular Multitech gateway is a three-in-one device. So it contains our gateway, our network server, and our application server. So it's all in one box. By default, LoRa isn't part of the standard kit. But the Multitech box has two auxiliary sockets, and you can see there to the top right of the picture, there is the LoRa card, which is the actual LoRa gateway element. And that plugs into the back of this Multitech box so that we can have the connectivity to our LoRa gateway. And everything is then viewed on a laptop via a web interface, which we'll be showing you later on in the hands-on. We also need our LoRaWAN discovery board. 
So this is uh, containing the Murata module, which has inside it the STM32L0. This, like all other STM32 boards, has an integrated ST link so that we can connect it directly to our laptops via a micro USB cable. And it will appear as an embed enabled device. So you will see it appear as a disk drive in your Windows Explorer window. We will need to program some firmware into our target board to make uh, the AT command project available. By default, what's included in the board out of the box is just demonstration software. So we will need to download our iCube dash LR1 software package uh, and program into our target board the AT slave example. We have already included that in the participant.zip which was on the memory sticks um, that have gone round and I will show you how to do that in the coming slides. Finally we will need a PC terminal software so that we can use our laptop over the USB cable to talk to our LoRaWAN board via AT commands. So we will then send a command to our LoRaWAN board and then the LoRaWAN board will convert that command and transfer it over the LoRa network. So, so we'll now go straight into the hands-on. So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect our laptops to our target boards, the discovery boards, with a micro USB cable. You will need to wait 30 seconds or a minute while all the drivers um, load. Uh, if you've not got ST-Link Utility already installed in your laptop, then you will need to install this first as this will contain all the drivers that the discovery board will need when you connect it into your target board. If we now look for the binary file that we need to program into our board, so in the participants folder, we need to go into the hands-on framework Projects, Multi, Applications, and LoRa, and then AT Slave. And here we have our AT Slave exe.bin file. So this is now what we need to drag and drop onto our discovery board, which should have appeared in your Windows Explorer, like mine has down there, DIS underscore L072Z. It's appeared as my E drive. And to program the board, you just drag and drop the file onto there. And you will notice on your discovery board that one of the LEDs next to the USB connector should start flashing green and red. This means that the board is being programmed with the required software. So next thing we need to do, we need to launch our terminal window. So, so we now need to go and find out what COM port um, our board has appeared on. So for me, it has appeared as COM71. We need to set our board rate to be 9,600 with eight data bits, one stop bit, and no parity, and no flow control. We also need to set the carriage return and line feed um, so that we can move the cursor down every time we type a command on our screen. So if we OK that, 
And now to validate that we can send a command, I will send the basic AT command and I get an OK at that point. So I now know my laptop is now talking to my discovery board. So the first item we need to send to our LoRa network is we need to send a join request. So I will go AT plus join. And I've got an OK return from the target board. So to check to see if we have joined, because remember all I'm doing is communicating with the target board. I don't know if the board has successfully joined the network. So I will now go and ask to see what my status is with AT plus NJS equals question mark. So this will tell me my status. It's returned a 1, which means that I am now actually connected to the LoRa gateway. So I am now in a position to send a message across the LoRa network. So, so I'm going to now send a message. So it's AT plus send. So I'm going to send two elements. I'm going to put a keyword in because we are going to look for that keyword in our gateway so that we can send a response and then I'm going to type my name so I can see on my debug screen that I have sent the message. So if I send that I get an OK so that means my message is now left and now I want to check to see if the gateway actually received my message because again all I'm doing is talking to the node at this end so I want to go for AT plus receive equals question mark to ask it what it received and there I have got my receive message from my discovery board or my moat to say that I got a gateway response and my name has been echoed back to me. So I can see that my board has actually sent the message out OK and my board has received a message back and that message is now displayed on my screen. So if we now look at the debug screen from the multi-tech gateway with my webcam you can see there that my debug screen has generated two items in the debug screen one of them is my inbound message containing the word moat and then one of them is the outbound message which is the gateway response so you can see directly on the debug environment through my laptop, which my second laptop, which is connected to the multi-tech gateway, you can see what is actually going on on the LoRa network.